Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. So, like, you really got to just start back looking, bro, and look at the situation. That shit sound like, bro, let me tell you something, bro. When you get angry, bro, you say shit that you don't mean to say, but you say shit to try to hurt somebody equally as somebody try to hurt you when you get angry. That's one. Two, I'm not going to never involve that man's wife or his kids or whatever, but I will say something to put it on your motherfucking mind, like, this could, this could possibly happen, bro, if you keep on doing what you're doing, bro. And what I'm saying is, bro, if he, if, bro, look, this is what I'm going to say. I'm proud of myself, bro, because, like, a lot of people, like, bro, a lot of people want to say, you, to make it out the street, you got to be stamped in the street. You got to catch a body. You got to, you have to have a lot of money, bro. Just to make it out the game and be alive, that's an accomplishment and a goal, bro. This to know, like, bro, I'm not doing nothing negative no more. I'm not entertaining this shit no more. That is a motherfucking, like, that's the motherfucking, that's the new definition of OG. If you can make it to see your grandkids play, bro, and make it to hear a kid, a kid call you granddaddy, that's that's the definition of an OG. I don't know, fake ass gangsta shit up. You got who got to sell the most drugs and who got the whip. That's not going to be no OG, bro. Because you can be a young dummy for the rest of your life. You can be old as fuck. Look at this old ass nigga. But the definition of being an OG, bro, is like, damn, that shit scared me, bro. When I'm like, my son don't want to come out the room because that nigga don't like cameras. That nigga different from me. That nigga really feel like this shit, like, because he a part of what I used to be. That nigga feel like this internet shit is really police shit, like, and he only 14. Like, he really feel like, man, fuck that. And he just sitting in the back like, nigga, that nigga talking shit like, I'm like, he like, I'm being real myself, like, I beat that nigga ass. Like, he like, that nigga don't understand that. But at the same time, too, I got to dress up because I want my kids to think that I'm on some immature ass shit. That's why when that nigga was talking shit, nigga, I'm with my kids, bro. When if I'm not fucking with doing no interviews, I ain't doing nothing, bro. I'm not going to no club. I'm spending as much time I can with my family, bro. So I'm not around that shit. So when that nigga talking shit, I'm about to go back and forth with no nigga in front of my kids, bro. But when I got time to go back and forth with you, I'm going to go back and forth with you, bro. That nigga counterfeit, bro. That nigga, bro. What that nigga doing? That nigga fooling the public, bro. He got this paintbrush, bro. And that nigga, he, that nigga painting a forgery, bro. He painting a forgery. This ain't no, this ain't no Mona Lisa, bro. This nigga thinking he doing a masterpiece, bro. But, bro, one thing about the game is sometimes, bro, y'all gotta see how far a fool gonna go. Not a smart man, a fool. That nigga fooling y'all to get on no motherfucking bro. Once again, I'm gonna say it, nigga. My, I say it to the nigga, my bad nigga ain't no weak shit, no nothing. I'm making a bit when he wrong. It's about speaking on business. I ain't his business. So fully on pieces of what them niggas got going on ain't his business. But how that nigga address that? So this nigga, this 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 what this nigga Charles the White trying to say. This what this this this, this what this nigga Charles the White trying to say, right? Trying to make not Charles the White. Charles the White trying to say that made me look weak and made me cry when I told him the reason why. I put a bullet between his eyes because you don't know who the fuck you playing with. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm telling you, like, if it get to the point where you play, like, when you threaten my grandmother, threaten my grandfather, but when something, bro, look, on some real shit, if something happened to my motherfucking grandmother and my grandfather based on what an internet nigga feel, bro, my motherfucking family gonna be trying to kill me, they motherfucking self, my nigga. That's as real as it get. So in my mind, because I already know how my motherfucking family is about my grandmother and my grandfather both, and they don't have shit to do with nothing. My family don't have shit to do with that. I'm talking about all of them. My family don't have to do shit with nothing. You want to play family games and act like, oh, okay, I can say I'm going to send some niggas to your grandma house. I'm going to send some niggas to your uncle house, nigga. You can say that, but you think a nigga ain't going to do nothing to you, bro? You think that you're going to sit here and do this? That's when, when niggas be talking shit. That shit be pissing me off. When niggas be talking shit. Nigga, you be thinking, you so you gonna run up on me, I'm gonna let you do this to me? I'm gonna let you fuck up with me? I'm gonna let you say that you gonna kill my people, bro? Fuck the laws, dog. Like real time, bro, and that's how I feel, nigga. The only thing the laws did for me is gave me felonies on unjust shit. So I don't, bro, I'm out about to call no motherfucking laws, and I don't get no satisfaction when a nigga go to jail, nigga. So you talking about fuck with my family, but you ain't talking about fucking with me? That's to any nigga so bro, you think I give a fuck about what I did to that nigga, bro? When that nigga was real, oh, I got your mama highs. I haven't touched that nigga mama, man. I haven't touched that nigga mama. I haven't said that nigga mama name, bro. 
Come on, my nigga. But you online, but y'all niggas online. Y'all niggas online. Y'all try to justify the shit. Don't come here, Charleston, bro. Charleston don't need to make the wrong move. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing Charleston don't need to do. Because, bro, if when Charleston make the wrong move, and some shit become, come from being in the YouTube street into the real streets, I'm going to play by the street rules, dog. And I don't give a fuck about no laws. I'm saying that on the camera, bro. Fuck you. I'm going to get commissary, nigga. That's what I'm going to do if you play with my family, nigga. I ain't going to let the laws handle it. I'm going to handle it. And I'm gonna see the jail. If I gotta deal without my wife, if I gotta deal without my child, if I got boy, I can't live with myself and my motherfucking family get killed. I was some words I said online. Not robbing no nigga. Not doing no jank ass shit. Because I told a nigga, fuck him. Ah, right, bro, I'm gonna burn you alive, bitch. Oh God, I don't know why these niggas be playing with me. I'm gonna burn you alive, bitch. I'm gonna set you on fire in front of your mama, bitch. I don't know what be wrong with them niggas, man, but that's what it is. But that's why I gotta stay away from that shit because I've been having partners I haven't talked to for years. Like my big bro Rob. My big bro Rob be from over there, bro. My big bro say, man, I love you, bro. I don't talk to you every day, bro. But that nigga try to trick you out your position. My nigga, my big bro Rob, not one day. My big bro Rob, my big bro Rob, and I haven't talked to my big bro Rob. I'm talking about since Sandpiper. We're a thorough ass nigga. Like real thorough ass nigga, while niggas talking about niggas don't know niggas, ask that nigga. Everybody know him. So that nigga say, nigga, two days in a row, Fred, don't have nobody pull up to that nigga house, Fred. If that nigga pull up on the city, in the city, bro, don't pull up on that nigga, bro. That nigga got the police watching you, bro. That nigga got, he doing police shit. I'm watching all these interviews, this nigga doing police shit. So when you got told you, when you got partners that's really care about you like that, bro, and you know, bro, those are the only problems I'm accepting advice from. My big bro, my other big bro, Ben Tommy say, bro, stop giving them niggas the truth. Them dumb ass niggas don't want no truth, bro. Them niggas dumb as fuck. Like, bro, I got real niggas that care about a nigga, bro. So when that nigga Charles the Bike really looking and he really doing something, he think I'm by myself, bro, my goons just ain't saying nothing. They waiting for you to make a move. You don't know who a nigga got in there. He don't know who a nigga got in there is, my nigga. He don't know what's going on, my nigga. He think he pulling up shit, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. I'm gonna tell you some real shit, bro. And, and as I learned as a parent, bro, yo, kids, sometimes as parents, parents can fuck up kids, bro. And fuck up their past to shit sometimes, bro. But I'm not afraid to talk about my mama and what my mama did, because that was my mama, that wasn't me, and I still love my mama. And I don't hold nothing resentment on my childhood, bro, because as I'm being an adult, I control my face. So I don't have no mama issues, bro. I don't have no mama issues. Like, I'm, I am I love my mama to death. I love my grandmother and my grandfather. I love my uncle to death because how they raised me. I, I wasn't left out here in the street. My charges, bro, when you dealing with a parent that, that have addictions, bro, I'm not trying to embarrass my mama, bro, because at the end of the day, I passed that shit, but this is what it is. She, my mama don't open up a check in the kind of my name, bro. So my mama wanted to write her checks in my name, bro. I'm not knowing about a bitch ass thing. I go rip, bro. I, I was staying with my ex-wife, my son, mama. I was staying with my with her and her grandma. I read my mama furniture. I'm not knowing my mama getting into it with these motherfuckers in Red Center. You, you feel me? I'm not, I'm just helping my mama. So I'm not knowing my mama getting into it with these motherfucking people, bro. So next day you know, nigga, next day you know, nigga. Brandon was a fool, bro. Brandon was a fool, bro. Yeah, so Brandon was a fool, bro. So like, bro. So next thing you know, I have a felony warrant out for my arrest for fucking theft, nigga. Yeah. And then I find out, I find, I find out, I got high checks in my name too. So what I supposed to go to the county and tell on my motherfucking mama and say this is what my motherfucking mama did, bro? No, I had to take that shit on the chin and fucking take the fucking charge. That's what I did, cause that's my fucking mama, bro. So if you sell the story, thief, thief, nah, that's what that's that's what America do. They like me with in, in, in that real estate case, they got all that shit back. I make sure they got all that shit back, but cause I didn't have no money at the time, I didn't know the law. I let them people spank me, bro, cause I didn't know my rights. I didn't know what it really was, bro. I was just scared when I got arrested, so I let the system fuck me. But I like how you brought up my past, so I could talk about that.